Decatur County leaders are calling for an end to violence in our community. We stop bringing our children and getting killed in the street. And I'm going to tell you all, God is not pleased with it. I'm AJ Douglas, your neighborhood reporter in Bainbridge. I'm taking a look at the solution neighbors are asking for to make their community safer. To see how, what's going on in the community and what we can do to make the community better. Mother of four, Regina Coleman, lists the reasons why she came out to an educational forum hosted by the Decatur County Youth Advocacy and Safety Committee. Pastor Kelvin Wells started the committee where teachers, law enforcement, and parents all come together to find solutions to a growing issue. Um, we've had students who die in, in gun violence, um, not too far from here. Pastor Wells also works as a history teacher at Bainbridge High School. He says he's had to perform eulogies for three of the four former students killed due to gun violence in 2023. A very painful situation uh, to see students in class and then see them in a casket. Coleman says she's new to the area and doesn't believe the three shooting deaths in 2022 or the more than five deadly shootings in 2023 reflects the community. I wouldn't say the crime is bad in Bainbridge. I would say the individual themselves. The advocacy committee plans to begin canvassing efforts in the future as a way to get out and connect with more parents. The committee is working to have members from the school system speak to local churches. I believe it takes a whole village to raise a, raise a child to make them um, and open up those opportunities for them to be successful. Pastor Wells invites neighbors to the next community event May 4th. Are you ready to get involved? Use the information on your screen to connect. In Bainbridge, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.